Since 2018, the city of Bakersfield has been implementing phases to address our chronic homeless crisis. As Governor Gavin Newsom signs new legislation expanding housing options, the city is looking to implement its next phase of the plan with strategies focused on quality of life, housing, and behavioral health. When you compare it to Bakersfield, what's, what I'm going through in Seattle, rent is actually more affordable in Seattle for a studio for one bedroom than it is in Bakersfield. Juan Rodriguez is a Bakersfield native studying urban development and housing. While he's currently living in Seattle, he hopes to one day move back home to Bakersfield. So he's keeping an eye on the market. Market rate is what's going to drive prices down for people like you and I, right? We're, we work, you know, nine to fives every day. We try and make rent. That is the bread and butter. That's why he attended the city's Housing and Homelessness Committee meeting Tuesday, where officials reported what they plan to do moving forward. Working towards either affordable housing, permanent housing, or homeless services, or addressing the impacts of homelessness. The fourth phase of the city's plan focuses on expanding team hours for responding to homeless calls, stronger enforcement, behavioral health infrastructure, and expanded shelter beds. According to the city, the number of shelter beds since 2018 has increased by over 700. Vice Mayor Andre Gonzalez pointed out that in 2019, our unsheltered population was only 643. We have more than enough beds since we started. We just can't keep up with that flow. I think this is the case that we have to make to the public. To try and reduce the inflow, officials are putting more emphasis on creating affordable housing. According to the July report, so far 210 affordable housing units have been completed with another 227 under construction and 485 in pre-development. Housing is clearly uh, one of the top the city is also putting 600,000 towards accessory dwelling units and creating a registry of landlords looking to take in affordable housing. Rodriguez said as a resident who's lived in and out of Bakersfield, he'd like to see more action taken towards building multi-dwelling complexes. I mean, we have the numbers right here. Uh, the number of multi-family residential buildings that have been constructed this year, which means, you know, dense buildings, three to four stories, all that. Only nine, only nine units have been uh, built this year. Uh, I went to North High, so I grew up in I grew up in the suburbs. You know these little flat little neighborhoods, and we don't really have density. And and Clegg said another priority with this next phase will be reaching back out to faith-based organizations that have shown an interest in coordinating with them for homeless outreach. In Bakersfield, I'm Veronica Morley, your senior reporter.